what up we're about to make a sizzling chicken and shrimp with some broccoli i just want to do a little razzle dazzle okay let's get into it so first i sliced up six chicken breasts and it ended up giving me like nine and a half basically so i thinly sliced up some chicken breasts and these are my veggies of choice these are the ones i'm going to be using so went ahead and got those things chopped up okay chopped the onion chopped that red pepper chopped that green pepper chopped that orange pepper okay let's just chop it up just make sure you wash them too of course like just wash them off a little bit you never know who'll be touching on your on your veggies and stuff and that's nasty okay so then I went ahead and switched back to the chicken breast. I seasoned it with chicken bouillon, white pepper, garlic powder, and then I mixed it up. At the last minute, I did and ended up adding some black pepper and some chili powder. Here go the black pepper. And then I let it um I mar I marinated it. So making a marinade out of this. So I added some Italian seed. I'm sorry, Italian dressing. And I ended up letting that sit in the fridge while I like prepped everything else and got everything else good, um, like the shrimp. So I let this sit in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes. Get that liner out your shrimp. Get that little doo-doo liner out of the shrimp. That is gross, okay? Nasty. Get it out. I will stop eating the whole shrimp if I see that line. Then I, had in, um, I went ahead and added the chicken breast. And, you know, added a little butter, a little tablespoon of butter. This is where I added the chili powder. I didn't add it in the marinade, but I did add it on the chicken as it was cooking on the skillet. So then this is when it started, you know, cooking up, creaming up. You know, that butter, it just add an extra little twang to it or something. And, of course, I sliced it into strips. This is, you could slice it, you could leave it whole if you want to, but, you know, I wanted mine stripped up. I washed my fresh broccoli and I just added some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder to that. And I steamed it a little bit and let that, you know, do its thing. Got soft. My veggies, all I added to it was like a tablespoon of minced garlic. And um, just let that soften up to your liking. If you want them hard, you can leave them hard. I wanted mine not too hard, not too soft, like I always say. The two cheeses of choice that I finally grated were cheddar and gouda. Okay, just cheddar and gouda. I just wanted to just keep it simple and those are the cheeses I used. So I made sure I evenly just got it, got that whole thing coated with that cheese and on the low heat because we don't want this to burn while we're plating. Then I added all those chicken breasts in. Since this was my first time making it, the presentation, I, I just wish I, I, the chicken, I wish I would have moved it up a little bit. Like when I look back on this, it just... I wish I would have scooted it up just so you could really see how much chicken was in there because you see it was a lot. I didn't cook the shrimp on camera. I forgot. That was on me. I forgot. But this is how it was looking. I added that broccoli at the last minute. Sizzling chicken and shrimp. Okay. Look at that. Good. I know you want to bite. Go on and make this simple recipe. See ya.